Hey there, my name is Mitch, and I'm here to teach you guys how to do a realistic pet in just a few hours. So, we're talking two, three hours, you have a realistic pet. It's a lot better than spending 20, 25 hours on a colored pencil pet, not as detailed, but still looks photorealistic. So, we're restarting the Heavenly Cat today, and let me tell you why. So the last time we did the Heavenly Cat, we did it on black paper. Now this is brand new experience to me, and turns out Epic failed. Let me explain why it failed so you guys don't make the same mistake I did. So I bought the paper because the scene has a dark background. And what I wanted to do is just not do anything with the background. And I had the illusion that I could come in here and put enough pastel to cover up the background 100% because that's what you need here is 100% coverage of the background. Unfortunately, because velour paper is like a shag carpet, a lot of the fibers are still sticking up. So it's like dumping a bucket of chalk on your carpet. Most of it will go down in the carpet, but some carpet will still stick up. And this is what's happening here. So I'm getting hints of the background. Now, if I was on gray paper, getting hints of the background wouldn't be too bad, but any black whatsoever in the cat's face, which is a super, super, super light, pretty, you know, uh, area, then it's just gonna ruin it. And that's what's happening here. So the background looks great. Some of the hairs, back hairs down here look okay, but you get up to the face and you have the black spotches and you just can't uh, do that, unfortunately. You can't do that at all. So we're gonna have to restart on gray paper. So, um, and a lot of people did ask before, how do you choose what color paper? And the answer is choose the color of the most prominent figure that you're gonna have in the, in, the, in the portrait, which is the cat, for the most part, right? If the cat is bright and pretty um, and, and really bright colors, you don't want a dark, blending in with that because it's just going to ruin it. It looks like some sort of a disease up here. Uh, it's not very nice at all. So we could probably dump half a gallon of pastels on here and spend hours and hours and hours of extra time. But realistically, I'd rather just eat the dollar for the paper and the dollar for the pastels in my 30 minutes and move on and do it elsewhere. So we have gray, like gray paper today. So today is going to be base coats, and again, velour, it's like a shaggy carpet, it's nice and soft paper, and we're doing this on light gray, and this is just the paper by itself, it's not the board. So, and you can get this on Blick, it, on Blick it always qualifies for coupons, so you can get this for about six bucks with a 15% coupon, with a 30% coupon they run, you can get it for even cheaper. So, all right, so we have a pastel cam today. I got guy at work was getting rid of his webcam for five bucks so I picked it up and now we have a palette cam so I already tried a few colors here what we're gonna do is start with the left ear so the left ear is like a bright pink let me zoom in on my copy here and we're gonna go here and grab that so this is uh, red earth one it's gonna be our bright pink today and we're just gonna get this bright pink and just gonna come up here like that. Just gonna get it in here. And this is Unison Pastel. So I picked up, they had Unisons for 30% off. So I went hog wild and picked up a few because I also had a coupon. And so between those two, I think my Unisons were only two bucks each. So for two bucks of pastel when they normally sell for six bucks, is not that bad. And I'm not sure why the Unisons are double the price once they get into the United States, but they are, which is unfortunate because this is a great pastel. They still sell out. I mean, it's not like Unisons hurting for sales in the US. They still sell out uh, of pastels. I mean, you go to Blick and they don't have any sometimes. So that's a good thing that the Unison brand is, is that good. So we have some pink down here. And I just want to get a hint of pink. I'm just going wild with the pink right now. No pun intended. So just going through here. And I just want to get a little of that color down through here. Because it is pretty prominent. 
down across right through here. So again, we're just doing base coats today, and base coats should take not a lot of time, but it will get you 90% uh, where you need to be, which is always good. So we have a yellowish, beige, light, light yellow brown up in the face. And then as you leave that area and come farther down the cat's body, we have more of a pink on the left side and then as you're migrating to the right it just kind of darkens up a lot into more of a, a, a light red almost all right so here that we have this area here we're just going to get this in here and i like that and i like that that looks good That's cool. We have a darker area over there. So over through here, we have like this lighter area that picks up here. And Unisons have a lot of cool stuff. Hey Allison, the black did not look good at all. So I restarted. Problem was the background was peeking through and which is not bad. If the cat's face was dark, but the cat's face is, is so light that it was ruining it. So we're restarting on gray. And we'll just paint in dark colors around the light cat. But since the cat is the focal point, uh, we were hurting pretty bad with that black. All right, so got a palette cam. This is cool. All right, so now I want to continue on with the face. And I know that we have this Y9 and Y6. So we have these two colors. So these are Unison Y9 and Y6. And what we're going to do with these is come up here. And the first thing I want to do is get this Y9 because this is like a bright, bright yellow. That was a little too bright. Not right here though. Just gonna turn it on its side so we don't dump as much pastel. You no, know, we have this yellow area right here. And that's trending white, so I want to be careful with that, but I do like the yellow up here. I do like the yellow right outside the eye. Hey, Susan. So we restarted on gray, Susan? Because that black just did not work out the way that I wanted it to. So that's all good. Just restart. I'm OCD. I want it the way I want it. So that looks good, and we got yellow underneath the eye. And that is trending white, so we have to be careful with this. Yep, it's nice. Hey, Allison, you remember this is, um, this is from the original thread that I posted back on the Akira days, where someone, everybody posted their pets. So this is actually one of them from there. Um, all right, so we have some yellow over here. All right, that looks nice. Yeah, black velour. If you have an all black painting or a dark painting, it'll look great. But the fact that this face has to be so bright was really hurting me in the end. So it's really painful. Alright, I like that. Get this yellow, get a little more in there. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. Alright. Hi, Lene. Alright, so I'll put the yellow back up, and now we're going to get the yellow 9. So this yellow 9 is 
pretty bright. It is fairly bright. Just want to graze that because that is going to hurt us. Blend that in as much as I can. That's a little too much, in fact. Could get an orange, like this lighter orange here. It's going to do us a little better. All right, that looks pretty good. We have this orangish here. I like that. We have orange coming down through here. Have obviously this whole area up here is going to be orange. So the Lene is it looking good today? Looking a little better. I know yesterday what was happening was I was recording with the camera as well as streaming with it and so what it would do is it would buffer the stream while it was writing to the card and so you had this very unflattering long wait between buffers and so the stream would just die Right, so just getting this light, super, super light. Super, super light right there. That looks good. And over here, we got a little bit lighter. And this is a little bit more saturated than it was, but that's okay. I would rather have a more saturated base coat and then compensate later than the opposite. Especially, again, since it's going behind glass. Any pet portrait is going behind glass and it's going to lose about 20% of the saturation. So it's always a good idea just to give it a little extra oomph. Uh, yeah, I trace it. I lay the piece of paper on top of my computer monitor and I trace it. Because I can't draw, which is hilarious when you see people in the acrylic painting thread say you can really draw. I'm thinking, no, no, I don't think so. All right. So that, that looks good, and that looks good. Yeah, the outline I trace. I just lay the piece of paper on my computer monitor, I jack the monitor brightness, and then I just trace it. Okay, so there's that, and then there's a little bit of that here. A little bit of that there. All right, that looks actually pretty good. So I know that you definitely, no, I can't draw worth Nothing. I'm awful. I draw a stick figure. Okay, so we got that. We got this. We got some of that. I'm just gonna lay this down in through here. Probably doesn't need to be there, but whatever. Okay, so the rest of this. The rest of this. I don't like that white is bothering me. Let's see. All right, so let's put this orange up and I want to get, it's like white and yellow. So we're gonna get this yellow is six and white. So it just says white and then yellow six. So I just had this yellow six, it's really bright. Oh, what can I do to reduce that? Could go to yellow 12. Let's try yellow 12. 
How is yellow 12? How are you going to look here, man? Are you going to be as obnoxious as this other one? Mm. No, actually. Yellow 12 is doing me right. Uh, Y12. Why? Because it's Y12. That's why. Okay, and we have a bright section underneath the eye. All right, and then over here we have a section near the eye. Okay, and then up here, a little section like that. And then we have some hairs peeking out up into there. But there's dark area behind there too. What we could do is just smooth the side of the ear. We have some over here, although not as prominent. Uh, and then we're definitely going to switch from Y12 to white. And white is going to... No, we're using Unison pastels today. So I have a pastel cam so you can see them. Hopefully that makes it a little better. Because what I was running into is I was doing oil painting and I'm spending 90% of my time mixing paints and I don't even have a camera on it. I'm like, this is pretty much of a waste of my time. I need to get a camera. So a buddy of mine at work had one for five bucks he was getting rid of, so I said, I'll take it. And I took it. Now I have a camera, although not high quality. Who cares? Still a camera. All right. And so we're going to go into here and make a dark section in just a minute. But first, I do want to get this white up through there. I like that. I like that a lot. This white yellowish section here is just kind of bleeding over through here. Then it comes in there. I can hear maintenance outside. Come there. Then come in through here. And this is a little bit of yellow. Not like an obnoxious amount. Like that. That looks good. Watching on the iPad. How's it look on the iPad? So that's going to be a darker area here. And what I'm afraid of is making this too light. And then I'm just suffering because I'm trying to come in with a, a dark area. Hey, Sherry. How are you? We're restarting the kitty, Sherry. Black paper didn't quite work out. And at the beginning of the video, I explained why. So if you guys want to go back after this and if you're curious... That, that, and that. That looks good. And then here we have that with there. And then I'm going to say it's a little bit of yellow, but not a lot. But it's actually more white, like right here. Like that. All right. And then the white as we come over through here. And then that merges into a darker area. All right, and at this point, we have covered almost everything that I want to do with this white. Except for maybe just the hints over here. And then we have some yellow as well here that and then some hints of white here although not it's not like maintenance dropped something over here I'm not going to touch the nose that is a particular shade of pinkish orange 
that I don't have with Unison, but I do have on pencils. So we're gonna come back with pencils and get that later. All right, now we come to the odd part of the cat, which is gonna be this whole dark area. And if you'll notice, it's not actually dark, dark, like, you know, black or brown or anything like that. It's more of a pinkish color, and then it's pinkish grayed out, and then more pinkish color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for Unison has a color set called Red Earth. So we're gonna get that and just play around with that a little bit. So like right here, we're getting into this darker area. So I wanna get a base of white around this darker area here. And then here we have like this, it's a lighter area, but it's not like obscenely bright and this white is obscenely bright. But we are going to compensate for that. Right, I like that and I like that. Cool. And then we have this really, really bright right here. And then right here across the back we have a white area. It's fairly bright. And not sure what to do now. I know we need to put up these colors and try something different. So white's going back. And Y12 is going back. So what I want is a darker pink. And I think that's gonna do me right with this Red Earth, this is what I've tried before. Yeah, this Red Earth 3. So Unison Red Earth 3. I'm gonna come in here and you notice his ear is dark. Not like really, really dark, but it's a darker pink. And I messed around with the colors before the video, and I found what's going to do me right. It's going to be this Red Earth 3 Unison. And that's coming in, and that's going to need a little bit of pencil, obviously. I need a second light so it's not shadowing. that all right that looks really good in fact yeah Sherry it's a beautiful cat I call this the heavenly kitty because he's like got that heavenly light on him so I'm not sure if we're gonna put the lamp up top or not I'm tempted to leave the lamp out because it looks like something it, it like attracts my eye and instead maybe have some light shining down. So it's a mysterious light, like in Pulp Fiction when they open the suitcase. All right, so that looks pretty good. I could use a, another Red Earth. I have Red Earth 15. I'm not sure how obnoxious that is gonna be. Ooh, it's not bad. dark area up here it's not bad I like the shadowing and we have some shadow as well underneath the side of the ear there and then we have like a little hint coming down here All right, I like that a lot I like it I like it gloves to protect you or the paper I'm OCD I don't like pastel and it gets under my fingernails and then you can't get it out it's really annoying if it didn't get under my fingernails I think it would be okay but trying to get that underneath out from underneath your fingernails is not pleasant at all it's not pleasant okay cool have that that got like a little hint here that some little hints here Okay, cool. Looks like really nice. 
All right, and okay, so now I'm curious about this red earth 15. What if we just get it and just hit this? Not hard, but like light. Ooh, that is not bad at all. I'm barely, and I mean barely touching the paper with this thing. If velour paper is hard to erase, how do you handle mistakes? Um, by doing this. By getting this and throwing it away. <laughs> That's how you handle mistakes. Let's see, what else? Do you use a nail brush for cleanup? Mm, no, I don't really have cleanup. Velour, again, it's like low shag carpet so when the dust goes on it doesn't really collect at the top and fall everywhere so I mean unless you're just mashing the crap out of it then yeah but I'm just barely touching it so I don't have hardly any dust at all so I don't really like if I come a race like this for example since I'm barely barely pressing Let's say I want to erase that, right? So I got it too far. In, in general, the answer to your question is, I'll just go over it with more pastel. So I just dropped my eraser. Okay, so if I want to erase that, since I didn't press very hard, some of it will come up, but not a lot. The most part, again, I would just come over with another color and pastel. All right. I tried nail brush for hands. No, I'm a dude. I don't own a nail brush. I don't, what is a nail brush? I have no idea. Sorry, I'm a dude. I don't know what a nail brush is. Yeah, that doesn't erase well at all. But if you come over with another color, then you can kind of smooth over your mistakes and act like it didn't happen. All right, so. Coming back through here. Small manicure brush would remove pastel from under your nails. Nah, I'm too OCD. I imagine it would work, but I am too OCD for that. That comes through here, through there. Right, that looks cool. That's going to need some attention from another color, but. This is not a bad base for that. Not a bad base. And this is the base coat stage, so hey, that works great. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Going through here, making here's there. All right, and that is the bright section. Small manicure brush. Uh, yeah, I don't own one. Sorry. I own dude things. I don't own a manicure brush. Electric razor. I'm good. Manicure brush. Not so much. Let's right. get in the base coats. So that is less. Less that and more gray. Let's see what we have in the gray. So I do like RE13, Resident Evil 13. So now I want to get a gray. That is not a gray. Grays, where are you? Gray 15. Let's try a little. Wow. 
low. We'll just run our painting. Real men don't use a test sheet. We just ruin the painting. All right. gaps in it. That looks pretty good. We do have like some here. And we have some here. We have down through there. I'm coming up there. That looks pretty good. Up here, we have a darker area. We'll sneak in some of this gray up into here. All right, looks pretty good. And then as we come down, I know down across through here, we have a fairly significantly darker area. So I'm just gonna sneak in this gray and hope it looks all right. I'm not gonna make really long hairs, I just want hairs here and there. Here and there, hair, hair everywhere. Now it comes up through there. This is just base coats. If we mess it up, it doesn't matter. It'll only look terrible. Okay, so I like that. And then we hit down here. And down here is a fairly substantially dark color. And what I'm gonna do is ditch this happy gray. And we're gonna try gray 14. We may instantly regret that. I don't think so, that's not too bad. So this is not a pure gray, it's more, has some pinkish color in it. So we're gonna come through, we're gonna make it dark. And then we're gonna come back and color it a little with some of that pink oranges color. I don't want to come all the way to the bottom, I'll leave a gap. direction of the hairs. All right, I like that. Just get it pushed in a little bit. All right, that looks all right because we're graduating from this darker area here down to this other, even darker area over there. And while we're here, we just touch this down across through here. All right, I like that. I like that. It has a nice contrast in there. All right. So uh, at this point, I want to get the lighter gray and then the pink. So 
So we'll do Red Earth 5, no, Red Earth 2. We'll do Red Earth 2. On velour paper, how many layers of pastel can you put down? Depends on how hard you press. Not very many. All right, so I have this gray. I'm gonna extend that down some into there. And that extends down. You send out notifications before you start a demo. No. I figure if you can't make it, you can just watch it later. The YouTube version is going to be significantly better quality anyway. So, worst case, you get to watch the better quality version. So, hey. And if you have any questions, just ask and I'll answer. Even if I'm not in the demo, just post a question. Okay, cool. That looks nice. good that looks good what I want to do is get this red earth and I want to just ease up on this dark down here ease up on this up here so just put a little pastel on top of it now so it doesn't cover it up hundred percent but it just does make it easier on the eye, so it's not a big splotch of dark. All right, that looks all right. Then we have this area here. And then as we come down, let's re-get our Red Earth 15 and want to just tickle this right there like that so a nice section where we just have a little saturation and then if we come through here got a little more that all right cool and again this is really 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 light what this is like a grayish area across through here because we get the gray I'm just trying to gray that area out like that stronger gray there we have a stronger gray here uh, like a gap and this comes up a little bit not this much of a straight line. So I still want to ease this out a little bit. I'll make it as bold and in your face. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks good. Just need to extend some of this coming down. All right, and in between here we have 
like little splotches of darker color, especially like right here. Right there, that looks good. And then across through here, we have that gray, and then as we come in, we have more of a saturated color, like right across through there. So that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna get our pink. Come back around to Resident Evil 2. And then we want pink highlights in here. Like that. We have pink highlights and then we have lighter highlights. So I do like that. I do like how that comes down. All right, and then amongst all of that, want some more of this pink color down through here. All right, looks good. Finally get our whites. And we'll get just, I don't want the white, I want this yellow six. This yellow six is bright and it has like an interesting thing to it. It's not quite white, but it does catch your eye. I don't want it really prominent. I just want like something, there's something catching my eye within the dark sections, the red sections, etc., etc. Like that. Looks pretty good. All right, finally just grab the white and just get just some hairs, not too many. And put them in clumps. Okay, cool. I like that. So let me look at the thumbnail. That looks all right. This is a little too dark. Um, can you just smooch over it a little bit? All right, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, cool. Now, I like that. Now, what do I want to do with the background? Do I want to do a background or no? Do I just want to do the cat? With the window in the back? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I could do, yeah, I could do. I could just get a dark gray. and literally go wild.
And everybody that does pastels is like, why don't you take the wrapper off and use the side? And the answer is because I don't want to. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I wanna do it this way. Just cause I do. Okay. Gotta be careful right here. Cause this no erase good at all. All right, that's all right. So this is blue over here. I do not, do we wanna do the lamp or not? It's catching my eye, so I'm tempted to say no. But then you have this awkward area with nothing and a bright light coming down for no reason. I was thinking we could make it look like maybe the Pulp Fiction suitcase, but I'm not sure that's gonna work or not because the cat cannot say, now that's a tasty burger. Uh, okay, so that goes into the blue right there, all right. So, we're going to get a, this is a pan pastel, soft tool with two F's, so it's soft f -f 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 tool. There's a space between those two T's. We're just going to put that there like that. And make sure that the soft f -f -f tool gets everything in there pretty good. And then we'll take it outside and turn it upside down and give it a good whack to get all the loose stuff out. Okay, that looks good. So that is like a gray, but it's not an obnoxiously dark, dark color that we can't recover from. Okay, cool. And over here, we're gonna do our Great American Pastels. And we start with a dark color here. Well, that's not an obnoxious transition at all. Great American Pastel here. That's too dark. We're going with this church.